The very large array near Socorro is scanning for space frequencies and life. It's been doing that work quietly for decades, and soon the very large array could be the very, very, very large array. Yeah. Tamara Lopez shows us what the next generation of the VLA will look like. It doesn't look like much, but all those small adjustments to the antennas at the Very Large Array Monday morning are crucial to gathering information about how the universe works. The 27 radio telescopes work together to gather signals that are later analyzed by scientists, even for signs of life out there. And you can see the different configurations the antenna are moved to throughout the year online. And now the Very Large Array is set to grow. A new $2 billion expansion will increase the number of antennas by almost 10 times. The new project is called the Next Generation Very Large Array. The National Radio and Astronomy Observatory says the expansion will bring 260 new antennas. About 160 of those will replace the current 27 near Magdalena. The rest will be scattered across North America. And as those radio telescopes continue to search for signs of life, they'll also have a stronger range. In total, the next generation Very Large Array is set to cost about $92 million a year to operate. No word on when the expansion will start. Tamara Lopez, KOB4.